Greetings fellow Flight Simmer and welcome to the reaction review with me Gripper Sim. I know I'm late to the party, but Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 have just released their PC specifications for their new Flight Simulator. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Now what they've done, they've divided it into the minimum spec, the recommended spec, and the ideal spec. Let's have a look at the minimum spec first. So the minimum operating system is just Windows 10 at the moment. Uh, just make sure it's updated. The latest update you have to have is November 2019, update 1909. For AMD, we'll need a, a CPU of a Ryzen 3 1200, a GPU of a Radeon RX 570, VRAM two gigabytes, RAM eight gigabytes, HDD, that's your hard drive space, 150 gigabytes, and your bandwidth for your internet is five megabits per second. On NVIDIA and Intel, you'll need an Intel i5-4460 chip. You'll need for your graphics card a NVIDIA GTX 770 or better. VRAM, 2 gigabytes. RAM, 8 gigabytes. For your hard disk space, you need 150 gigabytes. And your bandwidth, again, 5 megabytes per second. Uh, it's reasonably low, actually, and you'll be delighted with that. But how high you can have those sliders for your graphics are, is going to be limited. But thankfully, uh, for all specs, usually flight simulators now, when you install it, it will automatically set your best settings for your PC. I'd imagine Microsoft will be doing that as well. OK, let's move on to recommended specifications. On the AMD side, you'll need a uh, Ryzen 5 1500XC. CPU. For your graphics card, your GPU, you need a Radeon RX 590 or better. VRAM 4 gigabytes, RAM 16 gigabytes. Hard disk space drive is 150 gigabytes. Your bandwidth is moved up to 20 megabytes per second. Uh, on the Intel and Nvidia side of things, you'll need an Intel i5 8400 processor or better. Your GPU is a minimum of a Nvidia GTX 970 or better. Uh, for VRAM, 4 gigabytes, RAM, 16 gigabytes, hard disk space drive, 150 gigabytes, and your bandwidth, 20 megabytes per second. So uh, they're, they're not really minimums, they're kind of the recommended specs. I would imagine they're the mid range on your graphic settings. What about the ideal specifications? Okay, for AMD, your CPU would be a Ryzen or a Ryzen 7 Pro 2700X, your GPU would be a Radeon 7 or better, VRAM 8 gigabytes, RAM 32 gigabytes, hard disk space 150 gigabytes SSD drive, SSD drives, uh, I have an M.2 drive, I swear by them, uh, and a bandwidth of 50 megabytes per second. Now I get a maximum of 70, 80, uh, so I'd be curious to see how that runs. Now over to NVIDIA. Uh, for NVIDIA, the ideal specs are an Intel i7 9800X or better, for your graphical uh, processing unit, your graphics card, NVIDIA RTX 2080. For VRAM, 8 gigabytes. For RAM, 32 gigabytes. Hard disk space, 150 gigabytes. SSD drive, a bandwidth of 50 megabytes per second. So those are the maximum, or they're not the maximum specs because I don't think there is such a thing as maximum specs in our days, but they are the ideal specs. And I'd imagine what they're saying here is you'll get pretty much what you see in all the Microsoft videos we've been showing you. I'm not going to bore you by speculating uh, too much because you're far too intelligent for that. And uh, well, you know, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, what to expect uh, from this channel when Microsoft 2020 comes out is an awful lot of tutorials, how to's, uh, eye candy videos, reviews on new aircraft uh, and anything that comes up in Microsoft 2020. I'll leave you with the specs here and I'll see you on Friday. Attenuation, reflections, Doppler effect all together brings accuracy and give an organic feeling to the sonic source of the new Microsoft Flight Simulator.